Hi, I'm Moella. In previous tutorial, we logged all data. Now we want to add one custom list view to main layout, and we want to show our data inside that custom list view. Stay tuned. This will be the final result. We try to show all the items inside one custom list view. This is my project from previous tutorial. First thing is adding custom list view library to main layout. To do it, first we need to activate custom list view. In library panel, we can type XUI views because custom list view is inside this library. And now we can go to main layout and add it to the main layout. You don't need this button, so we can remove that. And from add view, we can add custom list view. Let's resize it. And let's change the anchor. We need to define custom list view in the activity. So let's right click and generate a definition for the activity, which is here. Now we need one layout for each of these items in custom list view. To create that, we need to go back to designer and maybe a new layout because our items are shorter than normal activity, we can define a new variant. Maybe this size is a better size for each item in custom list view. We can remove the previous one. We need two labels, one for name field, and another font for age field. Let's add to label. By control D, I duplicate the label. It's better to change the size of the second one. And its text color. light gray and this one dark gray as you see here we need a little space here what we can do is one option is using padding property the other option is just resizing them very good let's save the layout Now here, instead of logging, we don't need them anymore. We can create a panel and load each item inside that panel. So we can do it like this. But as you may know, using panel is not a best practice because then your project won't be cross-platform. So it's better to use one X view and then cast that to a panel like this. Let's comment the previous code. Now it's almost the same code, but now your code is cross-platform. Now we need to set the size of each panel. The width of each panel can be the width of custom list view itself. And the height as I define in the variant of designer can be 50 DIP. Now we can access each label in that item layout and we can change the text of each one.
we can copy it from here. And we can copy it from here. Okay, our panel is ready and we can add that to custom list view. We don't need value here, so we can leave it empty. Let's try the application. As you see, we have two problems. First, there is something wrong about the height of each item. The second problem is that gray background. Let's fix them. As you see, the height here is 50, and even we define that 50. So where's the problem? The problem is here. You need to comment this line. Let's see the application again. Now you see the height of each item is good. The other problem is this gray background. To remove that, let's go to main layout. We need to change two colors. First, and this color here. We can change the opacity of each one to zero. Now our custom list view is totally transparent. Let's see the result. Very good. What about if we want to have a custom divider? Custom list view, it has something for divider, but I prefer to create it myself. Let's go to item layout. As a divider, we can use one panel. The height is one, left zero, and maybe the color can be a gradient, left to right from gray to white transparent. Let's see the result. Maybe there's something wrong with top properly. Let's see that again. Yes, the top is 50, which will be one DIP after 50. We need to change that to 49. Very good. Now we can see our divider. Our example is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make comment if you have any question. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell.